What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. The Earthmaster here on this Monday, April 11th, 2022, about 11.48 a.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the globe, or at least here on the map. Got some activity down here into the South America region, right around the Chile area, uh, where we're seeing a 4.6 earthquake. Into the Peru-Chile Trench, 130 miles, 130 kilometers there uh, below the surface into the subduction zone. Uh, still some continued activity kicking up here along the Pacific Ring of Fire here, western portion and the western part of the Philippine Plate, uh, where we're still seeing a little swarm of activity here around Taiwan with quite a few fours and some fives kicking off here in the area. I uh, just want to bring up here real quick while I'm on here, uh, I'm still doing the Earth Master merchandise store. We offer quite a bit of stuff here on folks uh, on this store uh, through Teespring and uh, offering some discounts i uh, just got to use dis uh, discount code five off or ten off i will provide the discount codes in the description below for some of these items uh, like any shirts or sweaters and whatnot you just got to click on them if you want different colors uh, we offer different colors in there as well and sizes and teespring is actually pretty cool when it comes to um, their shipping and uh, they're actually pretty quick so i thought i'd throw that up there that we are still offering a merchandise on the store or on the channel. Just use codes uh, five off and 10 off. I will provide those in the description below of this video. Uh, yeah, Taiwan, Japan, look at this. Pretty quiet up here, folks, along the Kurokam Chaka Trench once again. Uh, looking at that area, it's gone silent, completely silent. Uh, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, a little bit of activity up here in the uh, this little plate boundary here around the Solomon Sea. Seen a little swarm of fours kick off here, roughly about 30 to 50 kilometers in the region, and uh, it's kind of a kind of an area that sees some rather large quakes. Check out historical data in this region here, and uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in here. There's just yeah, this is all just since about 1900 or so, uh, and there's some big ones. We're talking sixes and sevens out there, and probably some larger ones in this area. Uh, some of it deep, some of it pretty shallow. But it is in a location that does see quite a bit of earthquake activity. Uh, specifically here at Solomon Islands, got a 4.9 earthquake just south of there. Looks like it's just off the South Solomon Trench. That one at about 37.8 kilometers. Uh, Vanuatu looks pretty quiet today up around Fiji. Starting to see some return of deep movement here. 508 kilometers for this 4.5. Some deep activity. Uh, in that area, we have seen uh, a couple earthquakes there around the 600 kilometer mark um, last week. One earthquake up here just outside of Fiji. This area sees relatively shallow movement. It's this, you can pretty much draw a little circle here in this area that sees some of the deepest earthquake activity on Earth. This is kind of where it all begins, so to speak. It gets this, this uh, plate system here moving um, as far as the Pacific plate. And areas to the west just uh, plays a major part there in uh, what goes on up here nor north, west, and also down here in the south part. We did see some further movement around the Kermadec Trench with a 4.8. Still waiting on some larger quake activity down here. Just uh, now with this renewed deep movement, I, that's it's even more likely. So we'll keep an eye on that region pretty closely. Uh, there's the uh, uh, Chile earthquake activity, not a whole lot going on there, at least 4.0 and above. EMSC models are showing quite uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity down there, but uh, mostly twos and some threes down there in that area. All right, let's see. Let's bring back over here. See what we got here in Texas popping up. A little bit of movement looks like there around the Pecos, Texas area within the last hour. Guadalupe Peak, this area, 2.9. Let's see if we got anything smaller going on down here in the uh, in the area. Nope, 2.9, 5.0 for the kilometers. Oklahoma under the gun here today. Parts of Texas and Arkansas as well for severe weather in the next couple days. Seen a couple twos, upper twos there, it looks like. Up here in the, uh, I'm sure those are gas fields up here. In this area of the state, Wakita Trinidad and Gasfield, uh, all over the place. 
Uh, let's go ahead and check out the satellite view, shall we? See what we got out there for this little 2.7. And I can already see from this elevation quite a few uh, pumping operation stations out there in the little square boxes. Specifically down here in this area, looks like there's one. Eh, it's kind of hard to see. Can't really tell if that's somebody's farmhouse or not. Uh, more than likely, this looks like an older uh, pumping operation station out here. I'd have to pull up Google Earth to get a better uh, view of it. But that 2.7, just right there on that uh, area. Uh, back here to the train map and uh, some further movement around Oklahoma, northern Oklahoma. And one earthquake here around the New Madrid zone. Towards the northern end, Howardville, Missouri, it looks like. Seen a 1.2 at 6.7 kilometers. Eastern part of the country all remains quiet. Some movement out around Puerto Rico once again. Really kicking up here in the swarm. This was very, this was actually pretty absent last night in terms of this many earthquakes. Uh, definitely exploded overnight and seen quite a few twos and whatnot kick up here. In this area of Puerto Rico once again, South America or the uh, Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. One, earth, one earthquake down here, the uh, 4.9 in the South Sandwich Islands area. And also here in the uh, northern mid-Atlantic Ridge, seen a 4.7. Uh, solar weather activity, man, it's kind of been a little odd here in terms of events that are happening. These guys aren't covering it, but there was a, uh, there it is, a, a, kind of a sea flare, long duration sea flare from an old sunspot. And uh, did produce a, a CME that could be earth directed. Uh, let me see if the space weather site has this up. Here it is. This is what I'm talking about right here. So, the corpse of an old sunspot, AR2987, exploded today, April uh, 11th. That's what you've seen on the space weather uh, right here earlier. Little sea flare. Uh, exploded today, hurling debris directly towards Earth. Shortly after the explosion, a full halo CME emerged from the blast site. We will soon post a movie, okay. So that's kind of odd, isn't it? These dead sunspots here, producing uh, some significant solar weather activity. The sun has definitely been acting a little on the um, crazy side. I mean, we are gearing up towards the solar maximum here, but uh, it's been kind of surprising us here lately. Looking at the uh, sunspot, which one is that? 2987, Let's see if this one's here, 2987. That's gonna be this area right here. Kind of amazing how that type of uh, sunspot can produce a, uh, a sea flare with a whole with a CME associated with it. Pretty crazy. So I think we're in for some good surprises as we head towards that maximum here in a couple years. I don't know about you, but I, I find the uh, solar activity pretty exciting. Uh, scrambled radio transmissions. Yesterday, strong geomagnetic storm scrambled HF radio transmissions. Uh, from this guy in Eureka, California. Uh, looks like he had a ham ham radio 80 meter band uh, fighting their way through the storm. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's like bubbling through the water. Okay, well, a lot of times when we get these sunspots out here and um, solar weather events, they do allow like pretty much long distant communications that would not normally be possible under typical conditions here, normal conditions. So uh, the sun and the particles and whatnot that it um, does in the atmosphere, as far as like the, uh, the whole process is kind of cool how it does this to the uh, communication system. But uh, looks like here they have a particular warbly sound distinctive of trans aurora propag propagation. Some some say it sounds like it's bubbling up through water. Hmm, I've never heard that. Of course, I don't operate on 80 meter band, but uh, crazy. I've heard uh, FM radio stations uh, from Kansas here in Northern California on very strong sunspot days. And it happens quite often. You'll hear, you know, say for example, I think this one was coming in 93.3 and uh, we don't have a station here at 93.3 here where I live. So it was picking up a station over in uh, 
And uh, it was either Kansas or Nebraska, somewhere over there. And I was like, whoa, it's a classic rock station. And it's just kind of cool to hear that, you know, to see, uh, to see what the sunspots and the solar weather activity does to uh, communications. All right, uh, let's back out here, see what we got for the West Coast. And it uh, looks like the USGS did add the earthquake activity we we're seeing there on Yellowstone last night. Go ahead and pull up the Yellowstone overview map here and see what we got. Looks like that is continuing here uh, with some uh, earthquake activity. Mostly, yeah, this is all very small, but there's way more than what the USGS is showing. Obviously on the map, these guys are showing uh, just about five earthquakes or so. But uh, looking at that map, no doubt, uh, definitely much more in terms of the multitudes of quakes here. And it's all, looks like for the most part, confined here to the uh, Maple Creek area. I'm not seeing any other uh, unusual swarming around the area of, of Yellowstone just here. So we'll definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, not a whole lot going on through Idaho. A little bit of movement along the Sawtooth Fault area. And some activity up through Washington. But uh, not a whole lot going on up there right now. Let's go ahead and check out the Mount St. Helens activity. And by the way, trimmer last night, past couple days, pretty quiet again. Mount St. Helens here. Go ahead and zoom in here to the uh, overview of a map. Mount St. Helens, beautiful. I'm, they're getting a bunch of snow up there again. Oregon and Washington, wow. Here in California, we're getting uh, some thunderstorms up around the Paradise, California area with a bunch of lightning. Uh, so we got uh, some dry fuels. It is dropping some rain, the thunderstorms are, but I don't know if it's enough to keep down any fires that may start up there in the, uh, in the forest around Paradise and up in the hills. A little bit of earthquake activity yesterday there at Mount St. Helens. Not showing up on the USGS map yet. But uh, definitely we're keeping an eye on it. We're watching the uh, volcanoes pretty closely here with the uh, seismic activity ongoing. One earthquake right now just coming in here to the map. 1.4. This one uh, pretty shallow. 0.9 for that earthquake just coming in. Northern California pretty quiet. Cobb Mountain region uh, looks pretty course that's always active and uh, a little bit of activity here around the Pleasanton area today just a couple small microquakes but nothing major going on folks it's actually really quiet in terms of seismic movement uh, and that goes for the entire state of California entire west coast so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but things are things are uh, very odd and quiet right now no major swarms to report in Southern Cal or anywhere for that matter all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, remember, don't forget to check out that store. It is pretty cool. I know a lot of wintertime stuff on there, but we do have tank tops and whatnot as well. And uh, once again, offering 5 bucks off or 10 bucks off. I think you got to order two items for the 10 bucks off, but uh, I'll double check on that. Either way, have a good day, folks, and we will chat you guys a little bit later this after or this evening. Have a good one.